There are several uh, advantages. Uh, number one is the uh, the laser that is is very very easy to handle. Uh, you don't need a sleeve in order to introduce the laser into the vein up to the saphenofemoral junction. Uh, you can measure uh, along the um, the laser every centimeter because there are marks that are very very easy visible. Um, it's. Uh, you can, it can be manipulated uh, even through tortuosity. Um, also, there is a pullback mechanism that is coupled to the laser work. Um, in other techniques, there is a pullback mechanism, but the problem becomes when the vein is either narrow or, uh, or widened, and then what happens is that there are changes in the speed of the uh, uh, of the pullback and um, the laser doesn't function as coupled to those changes. Uh, in this technique, uh, which is unique to my uh, best knowledge, uh, there is a coupling between uh, the act of the laser and uh, the function of the pullback. Uh, also, you can um, measure beforehand and decide that you want to activate it for a several amount of centimeters and then stop and cool, uh, which might be a way to avoid to mess in anesthesia. Otherwise, you can work it all along the leg uh, from up to below and use to mess in anesthesia as well. There are several techniques um, to use laser and they run at the speed of uh, either 0.5 millimeter per second, one millimeter per second, and at most two millimeter per second. Uh, the Alma diode laser is wonderful because you can activate it at three or four millimeters per second and uh, raise the, uh, the lead. Um, and then you get a homogeneous work uh, along the vein to close it very, very nice without any uh, injuring the uh, surrounding tissue. Uh, it, it, it is very speedy and uh, in the meantime you can uh, do um, either sclerotherapy for tributaries or a mini phlebectomy for those tributaries. The pullback mechanism that is coupled to the laser uh, frees your hands uh, to say so and you can do other things.